Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a did they stay or did they go video. And if you are new to these videos, in these videos, I update you guys on previous hauls that I have done on my channel. They can go back as far as a year ago. And I update you guys on the fragrances that I showed in that haul. Because many times we show perfumes and we show our first impression and we might be super in love with it and then we end up using it a few more times and it ends up being horrible or it can be the other way around and you can not really be a fan of it and then you try it a few times and it ends up being a favorite so these update videos are great because you can get an update you can see how a fragrance worked out for me in the long run it just helps me to keep you guys up to date with what I'm liking what I'm not liking but I just love to keep you guys updated they're super fun for me to do and it's just a way to talk about perfume so that's what we love here on this channel so if you are new to my channel welcome my name is amy i do videos on all things girly especially videos on smelling good if you like that type of content don't forget to subscribe before you leave today's video and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you here with me today and i appreciate all of the love and the support with that said if you would like to see my update on a celebrity haul that i did just keep on watching So today's video, I'm going to update you guys on this haul. I'm gonna put it up here on the screen and I'm also going to link the video on the screen in case you want to see my initial reactions to the perfumes when I first got them versus what I'm going to say today on the update. So today's update video is going to be on a celebrity perfume blind buy haul that I did. And this is the first time ever in a did they stay or did they go video where everything is gone. Like I don't have not one of these. So yeah, we're gonna get into it with each one. I am going to start off in order from how I see it on the video. So the first one in the description box is Sofia Vergara Sofia or Sofia by Sofia Vergara. All right, so let's talk about Sofia by Sofia Vergara. I'm going to be putting the notes on the screen. The main accords are fruity, woody, sweet, powdery, vanilla, aromatic, floral, soft, spicy, rose, and violet. The top notes are blackberry, plum, and current buds. The middle notes are orchid, rose, and violet, and the base notes are woody notes, vanilla, and sandalwood. Now, this haul was a while back, so I have to kind of refresh my memory. But what I do remember about this fragrance was that people were comparing the, this fragrance to, I think it was Coco Mademoiselle that they were comparing it to, or one of the Chanel fragrances. And when I got the fragrance, I could see the comparison. I can see how they were similar to each other, but I did prefer the Sofia Vergara one because I'm not a fan of Chanel fragrances, but this one just had a little bit more, it was a little bit more crowd pleasing to my nose and the Sofia Vergara perfumes are very good quality. They don't smell like a celebrity fragrance. So if you're looking for a fragrance that's affordable, a celebrity fragrance, but you want it to smell high end, you want it to smell like a designer perfume, her fragrances are the ones to check out. Now, I just wasn't super in love with this fragrance. It does have plum and if you know me plum is just not it for me i do have some fragrances that might have plum in it but for the most part plum just bothers me and there's just something about it that i don't find pleasant i don't find it nasty or that it stinks or anything i just don't find it pleasant on my skin now i did give my mom a jimmy choo fragrance that had plum in it i believe it's fever and she put it on while i was visiting her on vacation and when she put that perfume on the entire room she just smelled so good and i asked her what perfume is that and she showed me jimmy choo fever and when I put those types of fragrances on with plum, I feel like my skin just pools plum a lot and then it just kind of bothers me. But when she was wearing it, it smelled so good. So I would definitely recommend this fragrance if you're looking for a classy fragrance. It does have a little bit of a unisex vibe to it because it's not super sweet and it's not gourmand or anything like that. It's more of like a woody fragrance and it does have fruit in them, but the fruits are a little bit more like on the deeper side. It's not fruity like uh, tropical fruits or anything like that. This is more of like a 
sexy, woody, fruity, unisex type of fragrance. So yeah, that is Sofia by Sofia Vergara. I don't have it anymore, but I honestly think that it is a very nice fragrance. And if you are looking for affordable fragrances, that is a great one to check out. And then the next one is Sofia Vergara Love. This one, the main accords are sweet, floral, vanilla, coffee, fruity, powdery, warm, spicy, citrus, tropical, and like tonic. The notes for this fragrance are passion fruit, orange blossom, green apple, and mandarin orange. The middle notes are Colombian coffee, orchid, coffee blossom, orris and magnolia and the base notes are praline vanilla amber wood and ambrette i love ambrette i love vanilla i love orchid there's coffee this one to me is just so beautiful and this one gets compared a lot to ysl's black opium so if you're looking for a dupe for black opium or if you love black opium you love that dna that kind of like floral with vanilla and coffee is kind of like right in between being a gourmand and a floral fragrance fragrance and I feel like this is very close to that and that was probably the reason why I got rid of it at the time I did own YSL black opium and I also owned YSL black opium Nui Blanche and I ended up decluttering the YSL black opium I ended up decluttering the Sofia Vergara love and I just stayed with black opium Nui Blanche which is my favorite flanker but this is a really really good fragrance to get if you love black opium it's affordable and it's not exactly like black opium i do remember this one being a little bit different it, it wasn't as strong on the coffee if i could remember it reminded me a lot of black opium but it's not a hundred percent dupe for black opium it still has like its own personality it still has its own unique type of vibe to it next up we have rihanna's riri so I'm going to get the notes for that as well. I do have Riri here with me because I did give this one to my daughter. So here is Rihanna's Riri, which on the picture, they make it look pink, but the bottle that I have is pretty much clear. And this is Riri. It's not one of the flankers or anything like that. But this fragrance, the main accords are vanilla, fruity, sweet, tropical rum, powdery, white floral, woody, fresh, and citrus. The top notes are passion fruit, rum, mandarin, orange, and cassis. The middle notes are honeysuckle, pink freesia, jasmine, and orange blossom. And the base notes are vanilla, musk, siam, benzoin, and sandalwood. This fragrance is super fun, super girly, and flirty, and young, juicy, and sweet and kind of like pink just makes me think of all of the girly things and i just got rid of it because again it didn't last on my skin but the smell is so good like i kind of want to take it back because she's not using it should i take it back it smells so good. It smells so girly, clean and sparkling and fresh, but it's still juicy and sweet. The passion fruit in here is really nice as well. Very like sparkling and refreshing. See, but it just starts to disappear on me. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I might just leave it in her um, little collection and I might go sneak a little bit on once in a while because this smells so good if you want to be home if you're a stay-at-home mom and you want to smell good but you don't want to put anything on that's like too crazy this is really really cute and really just it smells so good i really don't think that someone would say that this smells bad because it's just a super pleasant smell but it's already turning into a skin scent and not even three minutes have passed by it almost kind of reminds me of like bubble gum. Not the scent of bubble gum, but it makes me think of bubble gum and like pink and it's so good. And the passion fruit in here is actually really, really nice because I usually don't like passion fruit, but I love it in here. And if you want to layer this with something so that it lasts longer, you can get the body care um, pink chiffon from Bath and body works get yourself the lotion get yourself the body mist when it does come out on their sales because it's not something that you're going to find like in their normal collection but it usually comes out for the sales and if you layer all of those products together with this fragrance maybe you can make it last longer and if you are a person that this lasts a long time on you you are so lucky because i really love this one 
it smells so good. It's just so, it's almost fluffy. It just makes me think of so many things. It's juicy, but then I get like a fluffy marshmallow type of texture. I get sweet, I get fruity, I get refreshing, I get sparkling. It's a lot in a fragrance, but then it just goes together perfectly. Love it even though I don't have it no more, but it's a really, really nice one. So next up we have Mariah Carey M. I have so many of you guys that asked me what was my update on this fragrance. I've been getting that comment a whole lot and Mariah Carey M left my collection because on my skin, it turned into a super mature kind of dated floral fragrance. So when I first put it on, I fell in love with it. In the video, I remember I fell in love with it. It smelled like a cozy, warm fragrance to wear during winter. So I'm going to read the main accords for this one. The main accords are amber, white floral, sweet, smoky, balsamic, warm, spicy, powdery, patchouli, marine, and woody. And the bottle really bothered me. And I know that when something smells good, you shouldn't really care about the bottle, but I do, but I feel like that bottle does not represent what's inside of it. When I look at the bottle, I would think of kind of like how Riri smells, like something innocent and young. So when I saw that bottle, I was like, okay, that's probably the vibes that it's going to give. But as you can see, the main accords are totally the opposite. So the top notes, you have marshmallow and seawater, which is already like a very unique, crazy combination. Then the middle notes, you have tiari flower and gardenia, which the gardenia is the one that we're going to blame for me having to get rid of it. And then the base note is incense, amber, and patchouli. And you would think that knowing me, and if you watch my channel a lot, you would think that my problem would have been with the incense, the amber, the patchouli, because those notes are very, very tricky for me but actually it was the gardenia that messed it up for me because it is just a very smoky, cozy, floral scent, but then it's also sweet at the same time. It just has a lot to it. It was a very, very nice fragrance, but when I sprayed it, actually sprayed it on and it was on my skin for a few hours, the gardenia was just very, very loud. It turned into a super sharp floral scent. So it completely changed up on me. So that's the reason why I had to declutter that one. But again, this one, the notes and the way that it smells, you would not expect it to be a celebrity fragrance. It smells complex. It smells high end. It's really, really nice. And that one did last a long time on me. I just couldn't handle the florals, but that is Mariah Carey M. Then I have Naomi Campbell, Naomi. This one I got rid of just because even though it smelled good, it wasn't really doing it for me, but it does smell really good. And if you like guava, the guava in that fragrance is really, really nice. So the main accords for Naomi are fruity, sweet, caramel, coffee, warm, spicy, floral, tropical, fresh, vanilla, and citrus. The top notes are guava, raspberry, and bergamot. So the opening was beautiful. The middle notes, are water lily and rose, and the base notes are caramel, coffee, vanilla, and sandalwood. And surprisingly, when I got that fragrance, it was because a subscriber wanted me to review like one of her fragrances, and I just went with that one because I saw the guava. Um, but that fragrance really surprised me because it did last a long time. It projected for it being a celebrity fragrance. It actually performed nice, but it just wasn't a scent that I was crazy over. It was a little bit generic to me. It didn't really smell unique. It didn't really have anything that kept my attention. So I ended up getting rid of that one as well, but that one's very affordable and very, very nice. Next up we have Beyonce Heat. I actually don't even remember why I decluttered this one, but the main accords are sweet, fruity, almond, amber, floral, powdery, vanilla, musky, white floral, and nutty. And the notes are just amazing. The top notes are peach, orchid, magnolia, and neroli. Middle notes are almond, macarons, musk, honeysuckle, and the base notes, amber, tonka bean, and sequo sequoia. If I remember correctly, I think there was something that turned very sharp from my memory, from what I can tell. I had this fragrance for a very short time, so 
with this one, I can't really give like a detailed update because there was something about it that I just got rid of it like pretty quickly. I'm pretty sure that either the Amber or the Neroli were a little strong. That's probably why I got rid of that one. But the next one I did love and I got rid of it not too long ago just because I was using it more for bedtime. And again, it didn't last on me. And that is Heat Wild Orchid. And the main accords for that one are coconut, fruity, sweet, floral, like tonic, woody, powdery, vanilla, tropical, and amber. This is gorgeous. I wish that it lasted longer on me because this scent I love. The top notes are coconut nectar, boysenberry, and pomegranate. The middle notes are butterfly orchid, honeysuckle, and magnolia. And the base notes are amber, musk, and white woods. This fragrance, if you like coconut, if you love kind of like sweet, almost, I would say like, cake frosting type of scent. It was just like a very sweet scent with a little coconut and I got vanilla in there. It was sweet, fruity. The boysenberry is a very, very unique note. I believe it's also in Justin Bieber, the key. It smells very juicy, definitely like a purple or dark berry type of scent. Yeah, very, very nice fragrance. Only reason I got rid of that one was because it did not last on me. If it lasted a long time and it projected, it would it would have been in my collection. I probably would have finished it by now because I did have a pretty good dent on that one and I did give it a lot of use, but it was more for like staying at home or going to bed because even though the notes are really, really beautiful. It's definitely more a skin scent. It's definitely more on the softer side, but a beautiful, beautiful scent. But I will say that I really, really hated the Beyonce bottles so much. The Mariah Carey one, the Beyonce ones were just, no. The, the Sofia Vergara bottles are very, very nice. They're heavy. They feel like a designer fragrance. Now the Beyonce ones and the Mariah Carey one, they were just an eyesore. I didn't enjoy them. That brings me to the end of today's update. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below if you have any of these fragrances and how you feel about them. Do you love them? Do they last on you? I would love to know if they last on you because they, a lot of them didn't last on my skin. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video. I'm back.